Yeah, I'm absolutely delighted. Uh, worked really hard with it and on it. And um, to finally have it in place now is, is brilliant news for everybody, I think. He, what makes it so attractive um, was the influence he had back here, you know, all, that, all them years ago, back in 2003 and 2004. Um, it played a huge part in certainly helping my development, but that other group of young players and the senior lads as well, he, he had a huge influence on us and helped build some of what happened over those next few years. So um, it's pretty clear we need a bit of a rebuild here. Um, and you know, there's no better bloke that I'd want alongside me to help me do it than to bring in a coach of of Dave's calibre and a person of um, with some of the qualities he's got as well. So I think we'll make a good team. And, and you add to that the coaches we've already got in here. Jimmy Laws has done a fantastic job for us, and we'll continue to do that working in tandem with Dave, as will Chev and Rob Burrow as well. So um, really happy with where we're where we're heading. I think the difficulty has been there's so many good things going on behind the scenes and this this being one of them. Um, it's it's been overshadowed at the minute and, and rightly so by our performances and our results. Um, but you know we need to get through this next patch uh, which is going to be a real testing for all of us and um, you know I'm confident we'll do that. This group always responds well, or this club always responds well when it's faced with adversity. And once we get through that period, I'm, I'm sure we'll see some good times ahead. Was it important that whoever did come in had a past association with this club? Um, no, no. I, I think it certainly helps. I think somebody who had a knowledge of uh, the Super League was really important. Um, but ultimately, wanted the best man for the job. Now. Um, I drew a shortlist up a few months ago and, and had an idea of where I wanted to go and what it looked like and, and Dave was right at the top of that list and some of that is um, from our friendship but you don't give someone a job because you're mates, um, you give someone a job because he's the best man for it and, and um, you know, I did a lot of digging and a lot of asking the right questions of people I've been close with. Um, you know, the likes of Sam Burgess through the England stuff and some other NRL players who've played under under Dave's coaching and he's obviously coached Australia, um, albeit he's an assistant and assistant last year in the World Cup with Tonga. So um, you speak to a number of those players and find out exactly what you believe is the right thing, but also to get um, recommendations from a lot of others just sort of seals the deal for us. So the fact he's played here, and understands Leeds and understands the club and what we're about and how important good people are and how important the values are that we set and the morals and, and exactly what that badge represents. Um, we don't have to sell that to Dave. He knows, he, he gets it and uh, he helped build it. And just finally on that, how does his arrival change your role? Does it take a bit, a bit of pressure off you? Uh, I won't say a bit of pressure off. Um, you know, I'm still responsible for performances and results. Um, it actually allows me to do the job I came in to do, which is great. Um, and although a part of me has really, really enjoyed being out on the field um, and and helping Jimmy and supporting Jimmy in that way, um, that will still continue, albeit. Um, that will decrease the influence I have there. Uh, and rightly so. Um, but yeah, it allowed me to do the job I came in to do, which is, you know, run the whole rugby department and the operation and, and oversee everything rather than at this moment in time. And rightly so, my priority has been with the first team.